A lot of what's in the book is actually inspired by Vancouver. In fact, a lot of what's in the book is inspired by my neighborhood of Kitsilano. I think uh, Kitsilano is one of the oldest neighborhoods in the city. It's the first one that was built outside of the downtown. Uh, and it has all those walking distance features of it. It has a variety of house types. It has you know, rental suites, uh, apartment buildings. It has uh, all kinds of things. I think what it's doing that's kind of tragic is misunderstanding the strength of the streetcar city framework. And I've been in a lot of debates, most of which I've lost, uh, about the relative merits of uh, SkyTrain versus something on rails uh, on the streets. Uh, and I think that SkyTrain has a lot of advantages uh, you know, of speed, but it's tremendously expensive for what it does. And when it goes through neighborhoods, it doesn't actually help them that much. Whereas something that was a surface light rail on the streets uh, works within the existing context much better. It serves those neighborhoods. It's an attractive feature. It doesn't tend to concentrate development around its stations. Uh, streetcars have platforms, uh, or trams have platforms, not stations, and they serve the entire corridor, not just one big spot. So I think in terms of what's most appropriate to the city of Vancouver, giving it, given its existing structure, uh, something on the, on the surface is about one-tenth of the cost. And uh, in, in my view, 10 times more beneficial to the neighborhoods. Uh, what do you sacrifice? It's about 15 to 20 percent slower. So we're spending, an addition, we're, spend, we're spending many billions of dollars extra just for five minutes here or 10 minutes there, and I don't think it makes any sense.